All right, Jared. What's been happening? Uh, okay. What let's have you see. done? I've look at this mess. It apart. I've upgraded the video card. Look at this. Oh. I don't know what video card it is. That is the uh, the GT 650. <laughs> This is for testing purposes. That's good stuff. Oh. But has he's been to the vet? Show everybody your naked neck. Naked neck? He doesn't want to. No, he doesn't want to. He's got a hole here where there's no fur. Look. Oh, fuzzy boy. <laughs> oh. So cute. Anyway. Anyway. Watermelon. Watermelon. So, um, here's the thing. Yeah. We were getting fairly consistently high temperatures with the CPU. Uh, last week, was it? I've lost track of time. Yeah, I've lost track of time too. Uh, I'm, I'm talking about like 10 to 15 degrees above what we should have been getting yeah. with, with such a system uh, and on that CPU. So we replaced the cooler, uh, like we are made the cooler for one of the exact same kind. Yeah. And, um, well, first we remounted the original one, just yes. in case we fucked it up. First we remounted the original one, then we RMA'd made that, yeah. uh, got one of the exact same kind, and didn't really find an improvement. Yeah, it was about the same. So then we tried the stock cooler, the Wraith, that comes with the CPU. Mm. And we got a very mild improvement. Yeah, it was like a couple degrees. Yeah, like two or three degrees. But it was still it was still very hot uh, for what it should be. Mm. And Alex discovered that the Ryzen has this thing called XFR, which is kind of like a miniature water clocking. Yeah. yeah. Um, so we tried turning that off, and we got temperatures that were around about what we should have been getting with the XFR on. Yeah. Because XFR is a factory standard. Yeah. It took so, me ages to find the setting to turn it off. Yes. These uh, Ryzen's, they're kind of like an alien technology and <laughs> I like them. Oh yeah, they're cool. I, I like them. Um, particularly this generation. So, here we are. Uh, we took it all back to you, Mart. We did. Um, figuring that it must either be the CPU or the motherboard. Yeah, because we just about isolated everything else. Yeah. Yeah. And Umar told us that they couldn't find a problem with either of them. They tested the CPU in a different board, they tested a different CPU in this board. Yeah. Um, and they came back to us and we were baffled, but we've just done a stress test and we found the temperatures to be fairly reasonable. Yeah, XFR is back on. Hmm. Um, they handed it to us with the cooler and everything already pre-assembled, so we didn't mess with it. We just brought it back. As you can see, we didn't even put it in the case. It's just on life support. Yeah. Um, and we ran a Prime95 test, hmm. monitoring it with uh, the Ryzen Master software. And uh, that little temperature boy got up to about... It was 71 to 73 at its highest. Yeah, and that's, a, that's a, during a CPU torture test. Yeah. So stock cooler out of the case, no other yeah. cooling going on. No manual overclock, but auto overclocking on. Yeah. So and that's what we should have been getting in originally. So, so I have no idea what happened. We don't know what happened between then and now, but here we are. We've uh, got the CPU back and we're going to be rebuilding the computer. Yes, with some changes. But part of our original plan was like a three pronged approach. Mm. Three three-pronged approach to uh, tackling this overheating problem. The motherboard, for example, yeah. while a wonderful motherboard in its own right, yeah. uh, apparently is not really designed for overclocking, I believe. Well, it yeah. It can do it, but... Yeah, it has the overclocking function, but it's not really like an enthusiast grade board. Yeah. Which we thought would be fine because we're like, ah, we're not going to overclock. Yeah. We've Ooh. got Ryzen's. We'll just get the next one. It'll all be good. Little did we know <laughs> it was going to do it itself. Um, so to be safe, we've upgraded oh, damn you. to the Crosshair 6 Hero motherboard. Yep. That's the X370 chipset and uh, it's got, I don't know. Lots of good reviews. It's like a more advanced version of this, so we can still do all the lighting and everything. 
Um, it's just got better uh, like power channels for the CPU, basically. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, we'll be using the exact same CPU, especially now that we're fairly satisfied that yeah. there's nothing wrong with it. Yeah. Uh, and we're getting a better cooler cooling system. The Cooler Master, Master Liquid ML240R RGB. Yes, we're going to a, a dual radiator spot because the CPU is more aggressive than we thought. So, it's pretty good. Yep. So, one way or another, and by that I mean one of these three pronged approaches is absolutely going to keep our CPU cool, I am confident with that. That brings us to here and now, where we're going to rebuild it. If it uh, doesn't keep it cool, will there be pitchforks? Yes. Three prongs! Ah, oh, Kate! God damn it. Right. We expect crosshair six here. It's, uh, it's pretty nice looking. Okay. Get this out. Yep, there's all the gobs. Uh, no, that's our fucking discount code, Kate. Sorry. Blow that out. Okay. Cut that. I will. Good. I got another coaster. I was worried about losing this. Cut that out. It's got a QR code on it. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we've got some stickers. We've got some uh, paper. Quick start guide. This reminds me of the Alienware box that your laptop came in. Yeah. User guide. I'm gonna hand that to Alex. We need that guy. Who knows what we're doing? <laughs> oh, That's side cool. compartments. Oh. So here we've got. SLI. Oh, S SLI bridges in case you have two video cards. Yes, yeah, SLI bridge. There you go. Ooh, screws. Are they spare? Spare standoffs? Are they? I'm trying no, to figure out no. if it actually has a second. No, it looks like a second. Uh, yeah, they're, they're SSD. Second. You said there was two. I don't think there is on that board. But there's two lots of screws and oh. standoffs. There, there is on the Crosshair 7, but I don't know about the 6. Alright, chat. I'm if you see this board and if you can see the second one, circle it in red and post it on Discord. Yeah, send me a picture. <laughs> Alright, and then here we've got the cables. Excellent. Hey, you're missing this. I'm sorry, I got distracted by the board. Cables. Cables. Tablet. See, very important you film the cables. People don't know what cables are. Laying down cable. People know what cables are. Our house is still this little thing that we're going to do. If we don't mention the mess, they can't see it. They can see However, it. However, this, one, this one's for free. All oh, right. <laughs> oh, sorry. It's a bell. No, I think it's just him. No, it's Rick. Oh. Rick! Hey guys, what's up? What are you doing tonight? What's going on at bed? Chicken and potato salad. Ooh, <laughs> chicken and potato salad. Hey guys. Be real careful with that. What's up? I'm filming the portrait. Fuck, Kate. Kate, that's so much editing work for me to fix that. <laughs> yeah, because because if I don't fix it, then the video is just going to turn sideways. That's great. <laughs> if the video just went sideways, then I'm sorry. Just cut that part out already. Alex, could you move that boy? Thank you. Solid. Also, now we don't have a spare anti-static bag. Good news, everyone. Oh. The uh, the new cooler uses the same AM4 mounting brackets, so we don't need to, need to replace the back plate or anything. Yeah, it's going to be much brackets. easier to install. Oh boy. It's just got little clampy boys that grab on. Mm. So what's next, Alex? Uh, pop the, the arm on that board, because we're going to move the CPU. Popped. There. Yeah. Alright, let's Popped start. and locked. We, yeah. Thank you. Make sure you line up the little gold triangle. 
Oh, Destiny. I forgot which way I went in. <laughs> There'll be one that has one left pin on it. And should be the gold triangle one. Yeah, that's got the right and angle. That'll match up with the corner. Oh, has... yeah, it does. Yeah, alright. Goes in this way. Did it go in? Yeah. yeah. Just went in so immediately that I didn't notice. Push the arm down, you hear a crack. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, unboxing video for the cooler. Let's get this bad boy out of here. Ask the American. Don't, actually, don't bother him. He's a very, a very busy man. Doing very rick things. What are we unboxing, Gary? We are unboxing the Cooler Master, Master Liquid MLG no, M ML 240R RGB. Is that Mel? Now it's Mel. Mel's home. How do I open this? I don't know. <laughs> Probably a hinge or a flap. Yeah, I'm trying to figure out. Every one of these ends. There's the oh. flappy boy. Why hasn't there been a game called Flappy Boy? It's mm. Flappy Bird. Yeah, it could have been a takeoff of Flappy Bird. That's what I'm saying. We were doing boys back then. Uh. Alex. So. It doesn't look like it comes pre. Oh, oh no! That's right. Damn it! It's naked! Yeah, it's naked! Yeah, so we upgraded it to a 240mm radiator um, to account for the fact that this UP was wildly out of control. Let's get some uh, I'll leave that bit on. Look at that bad boy. 240mls of bar. <laughs> What's this, the RGB controller? Yeah, I don't think we need that. Big old heavy bag of cables and well, there's a back plate and no. RGB cables and ooh, so much stuff and uh, two fans. A little green handle. Yeah. I'm putting the motherboard cables and stuff here. Okay. And the Cooler Master stuff here. Okay. That's like the same place. They're on different sides of the cardboard. Okay. Gosh. Gosh. I'm two. Bye. Yeah. We we spent a month figuring out what order we're going to do this in. So. So. Um. We're mounting the radiator and the two fans to the top first and I'd like to point out that this screw for this one we've used a much smaller screw down the bottom rather than one of those longer thumb screws because uh, with the last motherboard at least we found that the CPU oh it's the CPU connector was interfering with that around about there. Mm -hmm. and that goes, um, so getting the screw out of the way butt. helped. Uh, we don't know if we'll have the same problem this time around, but I think we just head it off at the pass. Where's the CPU you can make this board to be up here? Yep, it's always it looks up the very top. tight up there. It also looks very different. Fans are already attached to the radio. Ah, oh, these smart works. We learned that lesson 
after the first time. Yo. All right. Really nice. Lay it on its back. Very good computer. Uh, did you put the SSD on the motherboard? Oh, not yet. SSD time. are going to be a problem by the way because the screw for the fan gets in the way one of the thumb screws is in the way of the uh, top middle shit yeah shit damn it I might still get the top middle one come on yeah come on You got it. All right, pause. And now, through the magic of editing, poof. You fucking get in, huh? Thank you. Are we doing the A two B two? Yes. German, I'd rattle off the German bananas in pajamas now. <laughs> Just for Xana. I'm sure he's thinking it. Yeah. And it's in. I'm not going at it straight. That's better. Bit more. Yeah, there you go. What kind of movie are you making? Nice. Yeah, get your fingers in there. Alex, I'm afraid. What? What Kate's <laughs> saying? <laughs> See if you can. The arrow pumps on the right. And then CPU fans in the middle and CPU opt is on the right. We really need CPU opt, do we? Just really dark. Can't see no shit. <laughs> We're just hooking shit up. It's a mess. It is a mess right now. Cable management has not begun, but there is that bad boy back there first. Cool yeah. Moscow! Pew, 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 pew. We're simulating the LED effect. <laughs> Good job, Jared. 
back plate on. <sighs> All right. There, mm -hmm. that's it. Get from where I'm standing. Let's change angle. <laughs> He's getting scared when I'm behind oh. him. Sorry, buddies. He's like pushed it. I pulled the chair out onto him. I'm sorry, bud kid. Alright. Hey, yep. right. You get the isolator, I'll get the power. Let's, we gotta admire the, the motherboard lights as his tradition. Okay. Oh. Okay, yep. Oh, those are nice. You got some extra lights in there this time. Yeah. Yep. Huh? Up near the CPU. Mm. Okay. Are we ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. Ooh. Well, it looks pretty. The screen is black, but it looks pretty. I don't know what to make of that. Jared! We're back! It is, let's see. Late. It is 11.37 p.m. We've been at this a few hours, but here it is. Da -da -da. It, it's on. Yeah. And we just did a stress test and the temperatures are good. Dude. Good. Better Dude. than they were with the Wraith, which is to be expected. Yeah. But was also a completely different motherboard and everything, so yeah, didn't know what to expect Yeah. after all of the troubles we've been having. But here we are. We did it. We did it. The, um, the RGB situation is complicated because of the, uh, the cooler. We'll sort that out. Yeah, so between... Here and next time, got to sort out the RGB situation and tidy up the cables. But everything functional is in place. Beanie pigs. Just focusing on the beanie pigs. No, Jared, I'm focusing on this conversation with my friend. Hurt me right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's working! That's what you going to say, are you rolling? Sorry. <laughs> okay. Yay! Yay! The computer is all together and has been running for a couple of streams and stuff now. But to finalize things, we're going to put on the Ryzen sticker. The Ryzen sticker. Off center. Oh, damn. Th this is just, you know, a symbolic thing to finish it all. No, off. it makes it go faster. Yeah, it makes it go Th faster. This is how you overclock. <laughs> there's, there's little. It has a little magnetic effect yeah, that somehow improves things. The nanofilaments create an induction field that does something. And uh, improves the connection to the the hardline connection to the mainframe. Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. <laughs> Jared, please. Right. Yeah. And now it's all been made official. Yeah. Yeah. So all of it. What ended up happening with the machine, Jared? Is it is it good? What's it, happened? Yeah, it's good. People it runs, need to know. It runs cold. It so does. cold. It doesn't. Okay. <laughs> Compared to the temperatures we were getting. Yeah. Thirty, like thirty-seven and forty-three. Mm-hmm. Which is not bad. I could just bring up the shit. It's running Windows. Yeah. And we got the replacement strip in the bottom now. So the green machine. Oh, it's quite high at the moment. It's truly green. True green. Yeah. There we go. Look, 34, 35. Nice. Yeah. Looking good. Nice idling temperatures. Yeah. Uh, we added the extra strip. Yes. Um, and it runs beautifully. Yeah, it just 
does what we tell it to. It turns on when I hit the power button. It turns off when I hit the shutdown. Can't explain that. Can't explain that. All right, join us next time on the... the we're not building any more computers. We're done. But thanks for joining us on this adventure. Oh, yeah. Really like those top fans. Look really nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs>